There we go, game number four, and yes, it's Double Arabia! <laughs> love it, absolutely love it. What a great map to get, the pick of the draw. And uh, yeah, game number four between the Viper and Yellow score. 3-0 to the Viper so far. And what a way to start game four with the Double Arabia. How fun is this going to be? Well, very fun is the answer. Up to the north and the east of the map in red, we have the Viper playing as the Teutons. Over to the left and south of the map in blue, we do have VNS Yellow playing as Teutons as well. The map Double Arabia, and this is one of those maps that is absolutely crazy. Now, obviously, you got to bear in mind, you've got two TCs to start, and that is going to slow things down slightly, um, in initially, anyway. Um, obviously, you can't keep both TCs fully active at all times, uh, initially, anyway. And then the real question is, how long do you keep produ uh, villager production up from two TCs before stopping production to go up to feudal? Now, it is possible that you could keep villager production up from both TCs for the entire game and then as soon as you get to 500 food click up at that stage you'll probably be on about 40 50 population another way you could do it is go for a faster feudal time by letting one of the tcs run idle for a bit making a, an aggressive push during the feudal age or or castle age uh, if you you'd probably still be able to fast castle off of it and um and then re rekindling the production from the TC. Now, when I've watched the Viper play double migration, I've seen him go all out into the economy in the early ages, in the Dark Age. Uh, I don't know whether that's going to be an indicator of what he's going to do here. Of course, the cutoff point here of when they stop building villages or when they go up to feudal is going to be so important, and uh, it can change so much about how the game goes, depending on how they do it. Of course, the longer the game goes on for during uh, Dark Age, the faster it's going to accelerate, and uh, we're going to see some very high populations very soon. Now, most players, when they're doing a fast feudal, they'll go up on 22 population. That's around 9 minutes, roughly. Um, we're currently at 4, and we're already on 22, 21 population. So, um, very, very fast indeed. Another menace to be aware of is the double scouts. Viper so far with a much higher score, mostly due to his scouting. Scouting independently with his two scouts. And Yellow, on the other hand, scouting with the two scouts together. But once he gets up to the Feudal Age, could be pretty devastating if these two scouts get into a wood line or something like that and start picking off villagers. Um, very, very useful to have those two scouts from the beginning. Can do a lot of damage. Yellow, right now then, not finding everything just yet. Still not found all of his sheep. Viper seems to found, have found all of his sheep so far. And 25 population for him, 27 for yellow. Uh, interesting that Viper's actually lacking the population there. Maybe getting population blocked at some point or something along those lines. Looks like yellow had a little bit of a messy ball here. And of course, this is something that players just aren't really used to, having such a hectic, hectic dark age. Um, it's just something that they're just not used to at all. Be, having to lure four boars, two at the same time, uh, it's, it's not really a difficult task uh, to micromanage like that when you're an expert player like this, but it's just something that they're not used to in the feudal age, and that can make a huge difference. For yellow, though, a mill here could be really nice. He's got two deer patches very close together. In fact, three deer patches very close together. A mill right there would be excellent for him, and oh man, yellow gonna run straight into the Viper's TC there. Oh, goodness me. That was unfortunate. Losing one scout instantly, a second on 5 HP, and this is a pretty bad start for Yellow then, losing that scout straight away. Uh, Viper's actually not lured his fourth boar in yet. In fact, I think he's only done two so far, he's still got two more to go. Yellow, on the other hand, already got his third boar in, uh, bringing his fourth boar, oh wow, okay, already done all four boars, wow. Very fast indeed, the fourth boar just coming in, well, being eaten right now, and Yellow's up to the feudal age. So there we go, Yellow with a, a pretty fast feudal right there, taking his boars very, very quickly. He might actually go for the deer here. If I was in Yellow's position, that deer patch is too good to miss. Um, but either way, 
Okay, he's going for the stone. What a surprise. Uh, looks like yeah, Yellow is going to go for stone. Going to go with Trush once again. That does seem to be his style for sure. Coming forwards with about eight villagers, well, six, seven villagers on... No, oh, it is eight villagers on that right-hand side. Interesting stuff. Gonna look like Yellow is going super high pressure. Viper's still Dark Age right now. Uh, a little bit of a pause there, a little bit of an unpause, a little bit of a repause. Not sure what's going on. But yeah, um... Oh no, Viper is up to feudal as well. Yeah, so Viper going feudal right now as well. Uh, is he actually going feudal? Yeah, he is going feudal. I was, I was really like, is he actually going feudal? I don't know. Uh, 40 population. 38 population for yellow. Yellow's going to be feudal in just a second's time. Building that barracks on the right-hand side. Now, it's very common to see players walling up the center of the map here. Going for a full, like, diagonal wall. Doesn't seem like that's going to be the case here, though, at all. Viper going to run past that. See that barracks, no doubt. Didn't probably see all those villagers heading his way, though. And yellow's going to come forwards with a heavy trush by the looks of things. Uh, that's a lot of villagers there. Six, eight villagers coming forwards and, yeah, starting an outpost straight away to see what he can see. Question is, is the Viper going to fast castle? It looks like he will. He has sent four villagers over to gold there. He is almost at the 800 food mark. Looks like a fast castle is on the cards for him. Could be risky if yellow starts heavily towering. And uh, for once, actually building the first tower out of sight. Viper, though... Gonna spot it with his scouts, of course. Not gonna fall for that one. Spearman out for yellow, though. And uh, yellow now gonna be coming in with those towers going forwards. <laughs> oh, blocking that off with that barracks there. And finally, yellow doing a trush where it's actually almost working. Um, watchtower on the hill, first of all, to cover the f second one. Looks like this one's gonna go up, actually. And yellow is gonna be in an okay position. Viper, however. Could fast castle here. He's just going for wheelbarrow. And after that, he could pull off the fast castle quite easily. Yellow is going to continue with the villagers coming forwards and building those towers on the right-hand side. Another one going up to cover the forage bushes. Not really a huge deal about that. But Viper is undisturbed in the north, so might actually be okay. And he is starting to wall off this right-hand side to protect the gold at the back also. So we're going to force him off a little bit of wood, but Viper's already re, um, redistributed wood collectors up this side. Stable going up for him as well, and he is going to click up to the castle age right now. At least I think he is. Um, he just needs the stable to go up, and he's actually missing his second feudal age building, so perhaps not. Perhaps he will make some scouts first. Um, there's the blacksmith going up. Viper will fast castle, yeah. He will fast castle. So, trush pressure coming in on the south side. Yellow trying to make some really big pushes coming in. But I don't think it's going to work out for him by the looks of things. Archery range is here going up, but is he going to be able to do the damage? Viper is walling up as quickly as he can with these villages. He needs to be a little bit faster though. Faster. Be faster. There's two gaps left. I don't think Yellow's going to get in. Yep, yeah, Viper is going to secure that one nicely. And now he is up to the castle age. That was so close. So, so close. But Viper taking a lot of gold at the back of the map. Taking plenty of... Actually, saying that, not a lot of food at all. He's struggling to take the food right here. This uh, TC under a lot of pressure here. Going to be struggling to make farms on the front. This TC also, not really that many farms. But adding in more stables, looks like he's going to go for that food. Uh, going for the knights even. As another two stables go up and the Viper is on his way up to the castle age. We're looking at 45% uh, right here. So he is going to be going up pretty quickly. His economy surprisingly balanced as well. And Yellow now, still feudal. He will be for a while. And I'm concerned because castle age shootings, we know it's going to be nice. We know they're going to be flooding into Yellow's base. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be very tough. One thing that Yellow has got going for him is the fact that Viper is struggling with the food income at the moment. He doesn't actually have that many farms, but he has plenty of gold. And, you know, he could push this back pretty quickly with three or four knights. Which, at this stage, he can afford. So, gonna be pretty tough, I feel. Seeding farms at the back here. 
as Yellow worked his way in, continuing to build towers forwards once again. Viper, though, not going to lose this one, putting up a tower on that hill there to make sure that this wood is safe. There's the Castle Age upgrade from him, and Knights coming straight out from three stables. In fact, two stables. Third should be producing, but it's not. But more towers from Yellow. Is he going to make this payoff? The thing that Yellow has forgotten once again, though, is to build around the base. He's not built around the base of these towers. And uh, this tower here, for instance, probably going to go down pretty quickly tonight. It will go up for now, though. Of course, archers behind this and the spearmen getting in there as well. That, will ta that tower will go up. But the Viper should be able to take that out with knights pretty easily. There's just towers going up everywhere. I don't know if Viper's going to have enough to deal with it. Eventually, if he gets enough knights, he will. But is he just going to... Okay. He's going to play completely passive. And they go straight over with a counter. And Yellow, still feudal. It's going to be feudal for a while at this stage. Trying to wall off his side of the map. And, you know, he's nearly done it. But the Viper's going to get in with the Knights. And it's going to leave a gaping wide hole in his economy. This area here, this wood at the back, this stone is going to be so difficult for him to protect. And Yellow is going to be forced once again to start spamming those ha uh, pikemen. More towers up though, and Viper has to, has to make sure he keeps this gold safe, because this gold at the front is not going to be possible for him to take. His other golds out on the front, every every single one, aside from this one gold at the back, they're all out on the front. But Viper's raiding now with the knights, going to be able to pull a lot of villagers off of that wood, a lot of villagers off of the stone as well, he's going to do a lot of damage with that. Plus one defense is done, so a little bit of resistance to TC fire here. But this is one hell of a messy game, that is for sure. Towers are springing up all over the place, but Viper now able to deal with this to a certain extent. Struggling, it seems though, to keep that night production going. Uh, quite low on gold at the moment. TC going up over on this right hand side. And yellow, you've got to admit, putting on a lot of pressure, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. He's losing a few villagers back here as his villagers attempted to run back to the TC. Knights, though, going to be causing so much damage in the wood lines. Yellow losing a lot of villagers here. He's still feudal, and he still will be for a while by the looks of things. Very little food income, uh, or, or not enough food income at the very least. Taking Viper's own stone at the back. And Viper really does need to build, rebuild some lumber camps here. He could build a new TC back here. That would be quite good for him. Uh, but the raiding with these knights doing a lot of damage. Many, many dead villagers back here. Uh, for Yellow, a lot more to come as well. And um, even with a few spearmen, Yellow is not going to be able to defend from these knights. The only thing he's got going for him is the amount of towers he's sticking up all over the place. Might just be in range of this wood here. Which is certainly going to be messy. But I think this could be a pretty fast game by the looks of things. Viper knights all over the place. And, you know, Yellow, even if he keeps building towers now, going to be pretty tough. Viper could very easily add in a siege workshop. Start building a few rams. And, and just put, the, put an end to it, really. More villagers going down in the wood lines. And there's just so, so many dead villagers for Yellow here. 83 population for the Viper, 73 for Yellow. Unable to take wood at all at this stage. Viper getting in here. Plus one defense, no more upgrades. Making it a little bit more difficult to deal with the spears. They are doing a lot of damage. But Viper did what he needed to do there. Focused on taking down those villagers. That watchtower won't go up. He'll probably lose these knights. Uh, actually, maybe not. Yeah, he will. He'll lose the knights. Um... And yellow still feudal, but oh man, it's absolutely crazy. The Viper is on the three TCs though. He is continuing that knight production. Uh, a couple of golds in the back, he could start to take. This gold here, perfectly safe for now. And yeah, he is preventing yellow from taking any wood whatsoever at this stage. Yellow, 97 wood at the moment. And that is a problem. He needs wood for archers. He needs wood for spearmen. And if he can't take any wood at all, you can't even afford the wood to build a new lumber camp. And that, that is a huge, huge problem for Yellow here. Viper's still only on the plus one defense, but that's all he needs, it seems. Yellow looking for a way in. Finally getting up that watchtower. Viper relocating to the back of the map. 
pretty safe to do so for him. Got wood at the back here as well if he needs it. And I think right now that yellow is in a massively disadvantageous position. Viper going to get in here, kill the berries if he wanted to. Kill a couple of more villagers on his right side. He's, he's got free reign over Yellow's base. Yellow stuck inside of his TCs, losing pretty much everything he's got. And Yellow right now, I feel, should be saying GG. I think the majority of his population is in his feudal army, and it's not enough. It's just not enough. Waiting for Viper to build that, um, that siege workshop. One siege workshop is all he needs to clear this out here, I think. Uh, a couple of rams should do the trick. Either way, Viper going to save for a castle. And Yellow just continuing to tower, tower, tower. Wherever he can, getting up those towers. Um, but uh, I think Viper's going to be saving for a castle here. He's almost at that 650 stone. Um, Where is he going to put it though? I mean, he could put it really on the front. Or he could just put it, he could put it here or here. And that would take out all three of these towers and secure that gold again. So we'll see where he decides to put it. He's got the, the stone he needs right now. Still raiding at the back. Yellow losing so many villagers. It is GG, Yellow. You cannot continue like this. You have no defense back home. He's not doing enough damage in the Viper's base. Viper's got his TCs up. He can cut this feudal army down in seconds. And where's the castle going to go? He's putting it on the front. Uh, interesting. He's going to put it on the front. He can't keep sending knights in. Yellow has continued, well, finished his wall off. But at what cost? At a massive cost. His economy is in tatters at the moment. More towers going up though, man. He's insane. He's absolutely insane. Um, where's Viper's siege workshop? That's that He needs a siege workshop. It doesn't matter. He's going to go forwards at the front with this castle. Castle will go up and take down the stone wall, no doubt. Does, Viper, uh, does Yellow even see the castle? Yes, he does. What's he going to be able to do about it? Very little, I think. Uh, Viper on 130 population, 78 for Yellow at this stage. Castle going to go up, almost on 100%. And Yellow, his army's trapped here. He can't move. Uh, we'll get taken down in a matter of seconds. Viper could dispatch some knights to deal with this. There's only one spearman there. And still, where's the siege workshop? Damn it. Either way, uh, castle wall is going to go down. Petards coming out for good measure. Two petards, enough to bust through a wall, as we know. There we go, down. And knight's going to go in. This wood line going to get taken out. And yellow still hanging on in there. He is one hell of a fighter. I've said this many times. I say it again. He is one hell of a fighter. But here, though, he is finally getting taken down. And I think Viper could probably just run the rest of these villagers at this tower and take it down, to be honest. There's the GG from Yellow. GG indeed. A little bit of a lol for good measure. The rest of these knights getting in, massacring. Massacring these villagers. And uh, there we have it. 4-0 to the Viper so far. And man, what a game. I mean, Yellow... Such an interesting player. He just trushes all day long, uh, but it just isn't paying off for him. It's really not working out. Sure, he did a lot of damage to the Viper's economy. He really messed his economy up, but the Viper had so many knights into Yellow's eco that, you know, after he lost about 40 villagers, it was GG at that point, uh, but he continued to play.